Hey everybody, how you doing? Jared Sergi again with Real Fire Training, and we are going to keep discussing some pressure reducing valves. We have gotten a lot of good comments and messages on our Facebook page about uh, more about how these things function and why they're installed in some of our buildings. So I'm going to do a video very soon on why we put these in our buildings and when they are required. But today I'm going to talk about the function or the internal function of a direct acting pressure reducing valve, and that's what I have here today. So this is a Zern Z3000 valve. If you saw the video a few days ago, maybe a week now, uh, there was a video of us in making adjustments to this under flowing conditions uh, off a standpipe when we were flowing water. So what I'm gonna do, this valve here is a cutaway, and I'm gonna show you the internal components and how they function. I'm gonna explain it to you the best I can. I'm certainly not an engineer, but uh, I'll do my best in trying to explain it. So I'm gonna turn it around and get it real close to the camera so everyone can can hopefully see what's going on here. All right, so everybody sees the valve, the valve body here. So there's four parts that this valve has. There's a lot, a lot of different parts, but four main mechanisms that are all in here. So you have your spring, you have your piston or your diaphragm, which is the sensing element within this, within this valve. You have your valve stem, and then you have your, your seat. So this spring is preloaded at the factory, and this is what pulls the valve open or keeps the valve in the open position. This piston is what senses downstream pressure and, and applies force to shut the valve off. Uh, again, this, this spring is preloaded to achieve a desired downstream pressure. So if there's you know, 200 to 300 uh, PSI coming in, this valve is compressed and preloaded to only allow for so much to discharge to your hose lines or, or out of this valve. So I'll explain to you exactly how this works. So water comes in the bottom of the valve, obviously discharges here, but as it comes into the valve, when this valve is in the open position, water travels through the stem, it gets in on top of this piston and allows the achieved or the desired downstream pressure um, based off what this spring is compressed at. <clears throat> and again, they all have a spring which pulls the valve into the open position. As the spring is compressed, it increases the force, keeping the valve op in the open position, thereby tempering the downward or closing force of water above this piston, allowing for higher pressure outlets. So the more the spring is compressed, the higher pressures that you're able to achieve downstream. So it's, it's a balance of forces inside this valve between the, the compression of the spring and the piston here. So how would I adjust this valve? <clears throat> uh, if you remember in the video, what I did was I had, you needed a couple tools. You need a pipe wrench. Uh, at least a, a 14 inch pipe wrench will, will get on there just enough, but it has to have a three inch opening. So an 18 would definitely get you there. 14 could do the job, but it might be close, all right? Um, so I would take this, this bonnet off and I would just kind of set this off to the side. And if you look on top of this valve, there is an adjustment collar, all right? And it takes a one and one sixteenth inch deep well socket. So you put this on the valve. As you rotate clockwise, you compress this spring. And again, you allow, when you compress this spring, you allow the valve to achieve more downstream pressure. So as you turn clockwise, if you had an inline gauge on there and you saw us in the video, as you turn this, um, this adjustment collar clockwise, you compress this spring, you allow for more downward pressure, and you get a, uh, a higher pressure on the discharge side of this valve. So uh, again, depending on whatever hose line you're using, you may not have to do any adjustments at all, but uh, you may need to as well. So hopefully that helps. This is the, uh, again, the internal operation of the, the Zern Z3000 pressure reducing valve. Thanks everybody.